Hi, welcome to this lab. In this lab, I'm going to show you how to create app service plan using Azure portal. And also I'm going to show you how to see key features of app service plan using Azure portal. So let's first create an app service plan. In order to do that, click on create a resource, type in app service plan and click on app service plan, click on create. And then I'm going to name this as, let's say Rudra test, it is available. And also subscription, I'm going to change this to Azure trainings. And the resource group, I already have a resource group, app service one, let me select that. And when you are creating an app service plan, you have two choices of operating systems, Windows and Linux. I'm going to go for Windows. And also you can choose location, I'm going to select North Europe and also pricing tire. This is very important. Let me show you this from bottom. The first basic tires are free and shared. These are the things that you can use for training purposes and also if you want to play with it at the starting when you are learning app service plan. But as you can go up, the basic tire supports a lot more features. So it supports custom domain, it has SSL support, and also you can scale up to three instances, but you can scale only manually, not auto scaling. Okay. But when you go to standard, then you will get a lot more features with enhanced capability. Like basic, standard also supports custom domains, but when it comes to scaling, you can scale up to 10 instances and also you can auto scale. That's the difference you need to see between basic and standard. And also you can daily backup, you can have slots, which is deployment slots, and also standard tire supports traffic manager. Okay, as you go to premium, again, all these capabilities will increase. In terms of slots, you can see you have a lot more slots compared to standard, and also you can take backups more frequently compared to standards. So those kind of capabilities will come when you go with premium. So it really depends upon the use case, which will define the pricing tire. I would say at the starting, my suggestion is to go with standard and when you have a lot more load and if you need a lot more capacity, then go with premium. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to go for S1 standard and click on select and click on create. Generally it is quick. So I'm going to wait for it. There you go. Our app service plan has been successfully created. In order to view this, go to resource. Let's close this. And here, as I explained in the previous lectures, an app service plan can host number of apps. And when you go here, click on it, and you should be able to see number of apps here that are deployed into this app service plan, which I'm going to show you in the next lab. And also when you create an app service plan, a certain amount of file system storage will be allocated. That file system storage is not dedicated for only this app service plan. This file system storage is across your app service plan and apps. But more and more app service plans you create, this file storage will get extended for you. Okay. And it also depends upon the pricing tile you select of app service plan. So based on number of app service plans, and also the pricing tier associated with the app service plans will define how much file system storage you will get. And the next thing is networking. Here you can view all the virtual networks that you have integrated with the apps within this app service plan. You cannot connect to a virtual network here, but you can view all the virtual networks that are connected to your web app or mobile app or API apps. Okay. Similarly, hybrid connections here you can view all the hybrid connections that are associated with the apps that are hosted in this app service plan. And in case if you want to scale up app service plan, then you can do so by selecting a different pricing tire and also scale out. That means increase the number of instances. You can do that here. So basically you can move this, but I'm not going to do that. Let's close this. Oh, sorry. Let me go back.
and also in terms of resource health properties all you can see here you can see a lot of metrics also as you can see here cpu percentage memory percentage data in and out etc so this is all about app service plan creation in the next lab i'm going to show you how to create a web app and deploy that web app into this app service plan and also i'm going to take you through some of the key features associated with that web app okay so if you have some time join me in the next lab